لا يزال الخير حيا لا يزال إن في الدنيا سلاما و... إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون All praise is due to Allah whom we turn to for help, forgiveness and guidance to the right path and we seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our souls and we seek refuge in Allah from the evils of our sins for whomsoever Allah guides no one can misguide and whomsoever is misguided, then only Allah, the Almighty, can guide him. And I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah, the Almighty, alone. And I bear witness that Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may the peace and prayers and blessings be upon him, is his slave and messenger. O you who believe, O you who have believed, fear Allah as he truly should be feared. And die only in a state of Islam. Die only as Muslims. My dear brothers, we've been shedding light with you now over a couple of weeks on the virtues and merits and importance of fasting. And how virtuous fasting is. And how Allah and His Prophet wasallam, have emphasized its importance, its virtues, and its merits. The Almighty says in His holy book, وَالصَّائِمِينَ وَالصَّائِمَاتِ وَالْحَافِظِينَ فُرُوجَهُمْ وَالْحَافِظَاتِ وَالذَّاكِرِينَ اللَّهَ كَثِيرًا وَالذَّاكِرَاتِ أَعَدَّ اللَّهُ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةً وَأَجْرًا عَظِيمًا The male and female who fast, and the male and female who protect their private parts and the male and female who remember Allah in plentiful Allah has prepared for them a forgiveness and a great reward a forgiveness and a great reward and when the Prophet وسلم, was asked about the best of deeds or a deed which is of great virtue and merit he said to the questioner عَلَيْكَ بِالصَّوْمِ فَإِنَّهُ لَا مِثْلَ له. observe fasting adhere to fasting there is no nothing like it there is nothing like it due to its huge rewards and virtues and merits Due to it purifying the soul, due, due to it reforming and rectifying the character of a person, due to it uh, bringing out the best in a person, his generosity, his caring and sharing, his mercy towards others, due to it uh, training a person upon, uh, yani training a person upon keeping away from his lusts and desires and whims due to it disciplining a person in general fasting my dear brothers has huge importance or is of huge importance to your spiritual well-being uh, mentally physically from all aspects and today I want to share or shed light with you on the importance of voluntary actions before shedding light on that important issue which I want to speak about probably in the next khutbah and that is the importance of the voluntary fasts the importance of the voluntary fasts but before getting to that we want to speak about the importance of voluntary actions what are the wisdoms behind these voluntary actions and the scholars in a nutshell have put three main wisdoms behind the importance of voluntary actions. The first wisdom 
is that it makes up for your shortages and shortcomings and deficiencies in the obligatory actions. It makes up for any shortages, shortcomings in your obligatory actions. Secondly, it's a competition for the believers who are vying for the different levels in paradise. And of course, thirdly, and of extreme importance, is that it is a, uh, brings you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It earns you Allah's pleasure and love. It gains you Allah's pleasure and love. As for the first important wisdom, that is, yeah, any, uh, that has come in uh, many uh, a verse and many hadiths. One of the most important of those hadiths that it makes up for the shortages and shortcomings of your uh, obligatory actions is the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, wherein he said, "أول ما يحاسب عليه المرء يوم القيامة من عمله صلاته." فإن صلحت صلح فإن صلحت أنجح وأفلح وإن فسدت خاب وخسر يقول الرب تبارك وتعالى فإن انتقص من فريض من فريضته شيء يقول الرب تبارك وتعالى هل لعبد من تطوع فيقمل من تقص به من فريضته ثم ثم يعامل على سائر عمله مثل ذلك very important hadith which I want you to ponder and reflect over the Prophet ﷺ said in this hadith, the first thing that a person will be judged for on the day of judgment is his prayer. Is his prayer, because that is the most important of deeds and actions. If his prayer is complete, then he will have succeeded and be saved from the hellfire. He will have succeeded and saved. If his prayer is incomplete, then he will have lost. And he is doomed on that day. He has lost and he, ha he is doomed on that day. The Almighty gives him a chance to make up for that shortage. He says in this hadith, the Almighty says, Look at my slave. Does he have any voluntary deeds, any voluntary prayers, he in this case, for him to make up for the incompleteness of his obligatory prayers if he has then that will make up for it that will make up for it and he will be saved he will save himself from Allah's punishment and the Prophet ﷺ says in this hadith then he will be judged accordingly with the rest of his deeds for fasting, for zakat, for hajj, whatever the obligations that were upon him. He will be judged for the obligations. If, any, if there is any incompleteness, shortages, we will, uh, the angels will look at his voluntary actions. Can they make up for the shortages and shortcomings? Yes. Bismillah will pass. He's still got a chance of passing. That's why the voluntary actions, my dear brothers, are very, very important for you to do as much of them as possible. Secondly, one, uh, the second wisdom is for you to compete amongst each other for the different levels in paradise. وَسَارِعُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ وَجَنَّةٍ عَرْضُهَا السَّمَوَاتُ وَالْأَرْضُ أُعِدَّتْ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ and race, hasten, compete amongst each other. For what? For a paradise. The width of the heavens and the earth which has been prepared for the pious. فَاسْتَبِقُوا khayrat. Hurry, hasten into doing good deeds. وَفِي ذَلِكَ فَلْيَتَنَافَسِ الْمُتَنَافِسُونَ And for this, the luxuries in paradise, the levels in paradise, huh? 
you should compete for. You should vie for. That's the second wisdom of why the voluntary actions are important, my dear brothers. Thirdly, thirdly, gaining Allah's love and pleasure. Gaining Allah's love and pleasure, which is one of the most important goals and aims of a believer in his life. If you want Allah to love you, then increase in doing voluntary actions and deeds. As the Prophet Sallallahu says in the authentic hadith, مَا تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ عَبْدِي بِأَحَبْ مِمَّ افْتَرَطُّ عَلَيْهِ وَلَا يَزَالُ عَبْدِي يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِلْ حَتَّى أُحِبَّهِ Allah the Almighty, the Prophet says, Allah the Almighty says in this hadith Qudsi, there is nothing better for my slave to come closer to me, nearer to me, than by him doing his obligatory deeds, his obligations upon him. And he will keep on coming closer to me, nearer to me, through the voluntary actions. Until I love him. So if you want to gain Allah's love, add to your voluntary actions, my dear brothers, plenty of voluntary actions. Plenty of voluntary actions. I hurried towards you, my Lord, so that you may be pleased with me. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be pleased with us at all times. And to... Make us steadfast and firm in doing first and foremostly our obligations and then in doing plenty of voluntary deeds. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum min kulli dhanb fa astaghfiru innahu huwa al-ghafoorul raheem.